bones, structure, support, and biochemistry. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll talk about bone structure, the role of bone in body support, and bones as a calcium storage site. Bones, the body's framework. The skeletal system is composed of bones. Most of the bones are internally linked. Muscles are attached to bones and use the bones as an anchor from which to exert forces that result in limb movement. The function of the skeletal system is to support the body. It's used in movement and to store minerals. It is also the site of hematopoiesis, producing blood and immune cells. Bones provide the functional structure in the respiratory system, providing a nasal cavity passageway and the thorax is shaped to allow expansion of the chest cavity during inspiration. Skeletal systems. There are two types of skeletal systems, external exoskeleton and internal endoskeleton. Exoskeletons are associated with mollusks, insects, spiders, and crustaceans. Humans have an internal skeletal system made up of bones held together by cartilage. Calcium release from bone. Calcium is stored primarily in bones and is released into the blood in response to hormones. Calcium is needed for bone development, blood clotting, normal muscle and nerve activity. Calcium is stored in bone as a mineral salt with phosphate. Calcium is released from the bone in response to parathyroid hormone, PTH. When blood calcium is low, more PTH is released from the parathyroid glands. This causes increased calcium absorption from the gastrointestinal tract and increased osteoclast that's bone resorptive cells activity, both of which increase blood calcium levels. Calcium deposition in bones. Calcium is stored in the bones as a salt along with phosphate. When blood calcium is high, less PTH is released and more CT, calcitonin, is released. This causes decreased breakdown of bone by osteoclasts and increased calcium ion and phosphate uptake by bones. Together, these actions lead to a decrease in blood calcium levels. Bone structure. A bone is a matrix of cells, protein, and calcium. Bone structure. From the inside to the out, the bone is made of bone marrow, surrounded by spongy bone, surrounded by compact bone, and on the outside is the periosteum. The outer periosteum is the hardest layer. Compact bone contains blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients to the bone. Spongy bone contains a supportive meshwork of proteins. Bone marrow produces new blood and immune cells for the body. Bone structure in detail. Bone is hard, lightweight, and is primarily made of calcium phosphate. Epiphysis is the end of a long bone and is separated from the diaphysis by a growth plate called the epiphyseal plate. Diaphysis is the main or mid-section shaft of a long bone. Bone marrow is the soft section inside of bone and makes red blood cells. Bones can be spongy, having an open meshwork and bone marrow, or compact, that is dense, forming the surface of bones, making up about 80% of its mass. Bone matrix. Osteons make up the bone matrix, long, narrow cylinders. Osteons consist of the Havergian and Volkmann canals. Inside the osteon are lacunae. Inside the lacunae is the osteocyte, bone-forming cell. Osteocytes communicate with each other through passages called caniculi. 
Haversian canals surround blood vessels and nerves inside the bone. Volkmann's canals connect the individual osteons and the periosteum. The periosteum provides the blood supply and houses the osteoclasts for bone resorption. Bone remodeling. Osteoclast is a kind of bone cell that removes bone tissue in a process known as resorption. Osteoblasts control the amount of bone resorbed. Osteoblasts form bones. Osteoclasts have multiple nuclei. Osteoclasts resorb bone. Bone is constantly being reshaped by osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Five types of bone. Long bones, short bones, for instance wrist, carpals, and ankles, which are the tarsals, flat bones, the skull, irregular bones, like the spine and hip, and sesamoid bones, for instance the patella of the knee. Long bones. Long bones are longer than they are wide and grow primarily by elongation of the diaphysis. Bone growth in length is stimulated by growth hormone GH. Long bones include femur, tibia, fibula in the legs, and humeri, radii, and ulnus of the arm. Metacarpus, metatarsals, phalanges of the fingers and toes. The long bones of the human leg make up almost half of the adult height. The outside of the bone is made up of a layer of connective tissue called the periosteum. Short bones. Short bones, a part of the skeleton intended for strength and compactness. Limited movement. Carpus and tarsus approximately as wide as they are tall. The patella and other sesamoid bones are sometimes considered as short bones. Many short bones break more easily than large bones because of lack of support and extensive bone marrow. Flat bones and irregular bones. Flat bones have broad surfaces for the protection of organs and attachment of muscles. In the skull, there are eight bones that protect the brain and brain stem. Irregular bones have a unique shape and provide both protection and multiple attachment points for muscles. Examples include the vertebrae, which protects the spinal cord. How are bones connected? Bones are connected by joints. Joints are both strong and flexible. Joint 2 categories. A fibrous means there's no synovial cavity containing synovial fluid. For instance, sutures between the bones of the skulls. Synovial joint in which there is a space between the articulating bones and the space is filled with synovial fluid which lubricates the joint, for instance the knee joint. Knee joint structure. The ends of the femur and tibia are covered in articular cartilage. The synovial membrane covers this cartilage and encloses a space filled with synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is a thick, sticky fluid which reduces the friction between the articular cartilage and provides nutrients. Muscle lever action. Skeletal muscles produce movement by contracting and exerting force on tendons, which in turn pull on the bones. When producing a body movement, the bones act as levers and the joints act as fulcrums. A lever is acted on by two different forces, the resistance to movement, force to overcome, and the effort to move the load. 
The origin and insertion of the muscle affords mechanical advantage, as the insertion point of the muscle is far away from the load to be moved. This allows powerful movement. Cartilage connective tissue. Cartilage is made up of dense connective tissue composed of cells called chondrocytes. Cartilage contain no blood vessels. Nutrients diffuse through the cartilage matrix. Cartilage is found between bones, in the nose, throat, and in the spinal column. Hyaline cartilage, such as articular cartilage, line bones in joints and also provide a site for bone growth, the growth plate. Elastic cartilage, such as in the walls of the larynx, the voice box, and ears, is made with elastin bundles to provide elasticity and yet be stiff. Fibrocartilage, such as between invertebral discs, it's located in sites that require a great tensile strength. It is also found at sites connecting tendons and ligaments to bone. Ligaments Ligaments are short bands of tough fibrous tissue composed mainly of collagen fibers. Ligaments connect bones to other bones to form a joint, for instance iliofemoral ligament of the hip joint. Ligaments are sometimes called articular ligaments fibrous ligaments, or true ligaments. Articular ligaments include knee, head, neck, pelvis, thorax, and wrist. Tendons Tendons are a tough band of fibrous tissue that connect muscle to bone or muscle to muscle, for instance Achilles tendon. Tendons are designed to withstand tension and stretch. The origin of a tendon is where it joins to a muscle and collagen fibers from the muscle itself extend directly into the tendon. Achilles tendon attaches the gastrocnemius calf muscle and soleus muscle to the heel bone. It is the thickest and strongest tendon in the body.